you go. I want to talk to you. Starting on a clean face, I went ahead and applied my primer off camera. So next is my foundation. I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in 180 Brown and applying with a stippling brush. Next up is concealer. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I'll make sure I link the shade down below. So I'm applying it underneath both eyes and then I'm gonna apply it down my cupid's bow, my chin, on the, my forehead, and then down the bridge of my nose. And this is just the general pattern that I use. Um, I might switch it up sometimes, but for the most part, it's the same. So next, using my beauty sponge, my Real Techniques beauty sponge, I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. And I just take my time, blend it out, make sure that it is a seamless transition. I don't want any lines of demarcation, so I'm just going to keep blending, blend carefully until it just looks like it's very, very natural. Next, I'm taking the Tardis Contour Palette. I'm using that correcting powder that I just showed you guys, and I'm going to press this into the skin in all the places that I just used concealer. And this helps to prevent any shine throughout the day and help my makeup last a little bit longer. Next, taking that contouring shade, I'm just going to buff this onto the perimeters of my face to make sure that there is that seamless transition, no line of demarcation from my concealer. Taking that other contouring shade, I'm going to pick up just a little bit and I'm going to brush that under my cheekbones, right under, like on the edge of my cheekbones. I'm going to try and blend it up. Um, you want to only use a bit, little bit because a little bit does go a long way. So this is just to show you guys the comparison between a cheek that has been contoured and a cheek that has not been contoured. Using my Laura Mercier translucent powder, I'm going to take my beauty sponge again, and then I'm just going to carve out the cheekbone again and clean up that contour. I'm gonna do this on both sides. I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes just so that it doesn't look too ashy, too ghostly on my face. And then I'm going to take a brush after five minutes and buff it off. And this is pretty much everything that I do. This is the whole contouring process. I know that it's not a lot. I don't contour on my nose. But these are the finished results. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. And I